Hey and welcome back. We often see as an explanation of these amazing Inca wall building techniques that the ancients must have had extraterrestrial help. Well, I think not. A new and startling theory has emerged, which you will be fascinated by. We judge the Inca's wall building skills based on ours of today. We live in a culture of mechanized brickwork. And it makes perfect sense because if you can make something of a regular shape, it's easy to build with. Square blockwork dates back many hundreds of years, but it has a fatal flaw. Sure, it's easy to lay, but what happens in an earthquake? Something like this, brickwork can fail. The joints aren't that strong. It's all because we made something man-made based on an easy manufacturing technique rather than nature. We are surrounded by tessellation from pineapples to honeycombs. This is the way that nature fits together shapes. It's both strong and efficient. So imagine you're an Inca ruler and you want to build a temple that will last thousands of years. You look to nature about how nature fits things together. And what do you have in your culture? Corn. Look at how a corn cob puts its kernels together. This is another example of tessellation. It's incredibly efficient and incredibly strong. The Inca ruins with corn cob tessellation have survived earthquakes. In sections where they used the more traditional block work of just overlapping joints, they fell apart. And to knock the extraterrestrial theory on its head, look at this. It's not just your Inca palace. It was used for foundation work in normal houses. The Incas observed and learned from Earth's nature. They did not need the assistance of anybody else. It's totally disrespectful of their culture to say they were helped by creatures from another world. Their brilliant technology is anchored on our planet. The truth is out there. Thank you.